Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Gordon Frain. We are back with an update for Render Network, one of the leading artificial intelligence tokens in the entire crypto space here in 2025. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below, hit that subscribe button as well, smash the bell notification icon, and don't forget to grab your completely free copy of The Rise of Bitcoin linked below this video down in the description. PDF copy completely free for you. Go and grab it and let's talk about Render. So we've been covering Render for a long time on the channel, guys. We've posted plenty of videos about what's happening on Render Network, distributed GPU. And what I'm most excited about when it comes to Render and everything happening in crypto AI is the fact that we've got this macro artificial intelligence narrative for the broader business cycle lining up so nicely with everything happening in the crypto space and protocols like Render are leading the way and also riding on the coattails of that larger narrative for artificial intelligence in the macro business cycle. I mean, you only have to look at some of the largest companies in the world, NVIDIA, Apple, Microsoft, Google, Facebook Meta, Amazon, all of the largest companies in the entire planet are fighting for a slice of the artificial intelligence pie. And what I think we're seeing is almost a perfect storm when it comes to crypto and AI, because this narrative is lining up so nicely with what's happening on a macro level. You've got governments, the US and China, almost kind of going to uh, war when it comes to artificial intelligence with OpenAI versus DeepSeek and all the stuff that we saw happening in January and the speculation around um, how all of those models are progressing and the pace at which we're moving towards artificial general intelligence and the onset of this AI revolution. So I think it's a phenomenal time to be thinking about artificial intelligence in the broader scheme of things with the business cycle and then thinking how that permeates down into crypto with protocols like Render. So again, we've looked at Render plenty of times on the channel. We'll jump back into the technicals on the chart in a moment, but Render is distributed GPU rendering for um, artificial intelligence and for a whole host of other very complex and GPU heavy or computational heavy tasks that are associated with all of the stuff that we do with artificial intelligence tools that we're used to using like OpenAI, ChatGPT, Claude, DeepSeek, etc. So the whole idea with what Render is trying to do is essentially dramatically decrease the cost of all that GPU rendering and compute by executing it in a decentralized manner. So of course, all of these centralized artificial intelligence protocols like OpenAI, Claude, DeepSeek, etc., they require huge, vast amounts of computational power in order to process all of the prompts and the tasks that we give them, whether it's speech generation, whether it's image generation, video generation, you know, complex computation required for calculations and writing code and all of these use cases that are continuing to evolve when it comes to DeFi and crypto and all of the stuff that we're asking these AI protocols to do, Render is proposing to shift the point of compute to a more decentralized model and thereby dramatically reducing the cost of that compute and GPU because it is happening um, with GPU that is otherwise sitting idle. So again, the model that Render are proposing is broken down in their white paper. We did also see Render moving from an ERC-20 based token last year across to the Solana network because their community and team essentially made a pivot and a move to choose the fact that Solana was a more scalable and efficient way for Render to continue to grow and scale to achieve what they want to achieve. And we saw that transition from <clears throat> being an ERC-20 token over to being a Solana native token for Render last year. And again, the vision continues to evolve, but you can see their tagline here, accessing near unlimited GPU cloud rendering power, because that is the future we're moving towards, guys. I'm really struggling to see a world where we're not moving towards more more 
complex tasks being handled by artificial intelligence. And I know there's a lot of people, you know, dooming all of this AI saying it's going to take all the jobs, but it's going to create a whole host of new different types of jobs as well. It's going to create um, jobs for people who are experts in artificial intelligence, who are experts in cloud rendering and distributed GPU. So there's a whole host of businesses and industries that are going to be spun up around artificial intelligence. So I think it's not fair to position it as simply a tool that's going to take away millions of jobs because a lot of those jobs will be repurposed and a lot of the industries and innovation that's going to come out of this space in the next decade will create a whole host of new jobs and new types of business models as a result of that as well. So that is a quick summary on Render. You can come over and check out their website yourself. But essentially, they're tapping into distributed idle GPUs sitting on devices, sitting on CPUs, GPUs, and all of these other um, types of graphics cards in order to process and execute very computationally heavy tasks in a distributed fashion to drive down costs, um, you know, make those tasks much quicker and more affordable and more elastic as they're calling out on their website here. So what's been happening with Render in terms of price? Well, there was a lot of hype and speculation about Render back at the end of 2023 moving into 2024 and we saw a big run up in price last time render um got back above the 200 day simple moving average here in october of 2023 we saw a massive run up in price render going up about 600 percent in a 155 day period again that was the run up going towards the bitcoin halving last year bitcoin was running up uh, very very high in the um in the days and weeks leading up to that Bitcoin halving event. And when Bitcoin started to pull back at the end of March into April, it pulled the altcoin market back down with it. And of course, Render was not able to avoid that. So Render did pull down here during that period through April and into May. We had a bit of a run up here in May towards the end of the month before a big pullback again during the latter part of the summer and a period of strong and heavy consolidation here through August, September, October until we finally had a nice big run up here in the immediate aftermath of the US election results. So this was when we got confirmation that Donald Trump and a crypto friendly administration was going to be entering office in 2025. And we had a big run up in Bitcoin's price, but render and many other altcoins followed in very quick hot pursuit. Render had a 150% run up here during about a 30 to 40 day period. And again, since Bitcoin has pulled back since that most recent run up, you have seen many of the altcoins, including Render, pulling back from prices above $10 all the way down to $4.30 where we're sitting at today. So I have this blue channel highlighted here on the chart because I do think we have a lot of support in this particular zone. It obviously held very strong from August through October. And you can see since we've come back down here in the beginning of February, we have continued to get bought up in this zone and we are holding above that $4 mark currently at $4.34. Again, this is not financial advice, guys, but potentially it could be a good buying opportunity or a good buying zone to be scooping up some render. Again, don't take my word for it. Go and do your own research. Check out the render website. Understand what's happening here with cloud rendering on the blockchain and understand the potential for what Render is trying to do when it comes to artificial intelligence and distributed GPU processing. Again, read the white paper, understand the fundamentals, research the team. I do all of this in the background and I try to bring some of the best insights to you guys here on the channel. So I hope this is useful. Drop a thumbs up on the video below if you're enjoying it so far, guys. And the other thing that we do on the channel a lot is our price predictions. And the last time we looked at Render, we broke down a price prediction. Again, this is probably a couple of months old, guys. So let me know as well. Drop a comment. Do you want an updated price prediction for Render by the peak of the bull cycle? Again, we were talking about Render getting to $35 in a bear case, $67 in a base case, and above $100 in a bull case scenario. I do think this is potentially still on the cards. There's a lot of hype around artificial intelligence and AI agents. And again, if there's going to be stuff happening from a distributed GPU perspective to do all of those complex processing tasks in a cheaper, more elastic, more efficient fashion, render is going to be the choice for many businesses to continue doing that. And I do also think, you know, going back to this big run up in price here from 
uh, September 2023 through to March of 2024 in Total, that was almost a 1,000% gain in run-up. Render is one of these tokens that has um, very good pumponomics. What do I mean by that? Well, essentially, when you're going to see retail investors coming in later in the cycle, Render is a token that I think appeals to many of those types of investors, given the AI narrative, given that it is a well-established protocol and token in the crypto space. It's really one of the top two itself. Render and BitTensor Tau are two of the largest AI protocols in the entire crypto space. And when people are looking to invest in this narrative, they're going to be looking at the biggest tokens and the most established protocols in AI in order to get exposure to this narrative and see how it will continue to grow over the course of this cycle. Retail investors will be putting their money into this later in the cycle, in my opinion. And you're going to see price squeeze upwards as a result, just like what we saw back here in um, the first quarter or the second or the last quarter of 2023 moving into 2024. So I think there's very exciting stuff happening there from that perspective, but we're going to see a lot more growth happening on Render in my opinion, not financial advice guys, go back and check it out yourself. Finally, the sponsor of today's video is Femex, the most efficient crypto trading and investment platform. Render is available for trading and purchase over on Femex. I'm going to leave a referral link below this video in the description for you to check out Femex. You can use it if you want guys i really don't mind if you do or if you don't but drop me a comment do you want an updated price prediction for render drop me a comment to let me know if you do and finally like i said my video is gone here i'm not sure where i've disappeared to but make sure you grab a copy of the rise of bitcoin in the chat in the description below this video there's a 100 free copy of the rise of bitcoin my gift to you grab it in the description of this video guys and we'll catch you in the next one Thank <laughs> you.